أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القرآن العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا نبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله وإن إليه راجعون صدق الله العظيم all praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We glorify our Creator and we give thanks to Him for His many blessings and favors and bounties upon us. I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah. He is alone and He has no partner. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is His servant and final messenger ibadallah my dear brothers and my dear sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala re reminds us in the quran that as believers we will be tested by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as we look at the dark times that we are facing it is important to reflect upon the patience sabr that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to have in times of difficulties in times of challenges prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says as sabru jazauhu al jannah patience its reward is paradise and so looking at what allah says in the quran he reminds us, and we will certainly test you. And we will certainly test you with something of fear, hunger. We will test you through the loss of wealth, properties, through the loss of lives. And we will test you through, through the last of crops. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَبَشِّرْ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُسِيبًا قَالُوا إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ And give glad tidings to the patient ones, those who, when they are being afflicted, by any sort of difficulties, trials, tribulations, challenges, calamities, they put their trust in their Creator and they remember. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'oon. To Allah we belong and to Allah is our return. And as we look at current event, and, and what is unfolding in front of our eyes day after day we see a, a people who are experiencing all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran in terms of test we will test you with something of fear they 
can't sleep. They are afraid of even the sound around them, little children. Thinking that the next moment it will be them in harm's way. Hunger, they, they have been cut off from all the basic necessities of life. Food, water, electricity, gas, properties. It's a city of rubbles. Most of what they spent their life in investing in is, has been destroyed. Lost of lives. Over 3,000 plus children have been killed. Over 2,000 women have been killed. Lost of crops. And you, you might have seen that even what belongs to them is being taken away from them. They can't even reap their own crops. Settlers are preventing them from doing that. And this is the life that our brothers and our sisters our Palestinian brothers and sisters this is their life on a daily basis it hasn't only happened to them after October 7th they have been experiencing this for the last 75 years. They have been occupied. And they have been experiencing oppression and injustice day after day. And my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we see a people who put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All these difficulties, all these challenges, and you see their, their faith, their conviction. You see them holding on to their values and their beliefs. You see them demonstrating that true belief in lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un to Allah we belong and to Allah is our return. They have patience at the time of difficulties at the time of challenges in prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said ajaban li amril mu'min wonderful indeed is the fear of a believer when good comes his way he is always thankful he remembers where it came from and to Allah belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. So he gives thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is good for him. And whenever he is being faced with any challenges, any trials, tribulations, calamities, 
he puts his trust in Allah, he has patience. That, that's the, the attitude, the behavior of a believer. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, it, as we see these atrocities unfolding in front of our own eyes, we need to reflect and, and, and think about our own selves and our commitment to our Creator. Yes, we would like not to see people being killed and people being uh, suffering the way that they are suffering. Yes, we would like not to see people being oppressed and people being dehumanized like the way the Palestinians are being dehumanized. But, but there is some comfort in the believers never lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Never lose hope in the mercy, the rahma of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah tells us in the Quran, and this is what we wish for our brothers and sisters who are being killed. In Alladina Kalu Rabbun Allah, Thumastakamu Tatanazalu Alehimul Malaika to Allah the Khafu, Walla Tahzanu, Wa Abshiru Bil Janatil Lati Kuntum to Adun, Nahno Aulia Ukum Fil Hayatid Dunya wa Fil Akhiro. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says in the Quran. In Alladina Kalu Rabbun Allah, those who say Allah is our Lord. And then they are steadfast. The angels descend upon them at the time of death. In Alladina Kalu Rabbun Allah, Thummastakamu Tatanazalu Alayhimul Malaika, Allah Takhafu. Fear not, grieve not, but have glad tidings of that which you have been promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we pray that there are martyrs, there are people who have died in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they will be given what Allah has promised them. Allah says we are your protecting friends in this world and in the world hereafter. And so as much as we see them being killed, we, we have that hope that they are martyrs in the path of Allah and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a better place for them with him with Allah Allah has a better place for them in Jannatul Firdaus my dear brothers and my dear sisters as much as we are being silenced and people want us to be silent. Believers need to understand that we always must stand up for justice. And that we must always feel for our brothers and sisters regardless of where they are. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Al-mu'min lil-mu'min kal-bunyan. 
Yashuddu ba'aduhu ba'adu The believer unto the other believer is like the pillars of a building. The Prophet put his right hand into his left hand, the fingers, and this is how we should be. They, they, they stand together, they, they help each other, they hold each other form. And yet again, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, and if, if, if there is any believer who doesn't make that connection, something is wrong with his faith. مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادِهِمْ وَتَرَاهُمِهِمْ وَتَعَاتُفِهِمْ مَثَلُ الْجَسَدِ إِذَا إِشْتَكَ مِنْهُ عُدْوٌ the believers in their, their, their love, their kindness, their, their compassion for one another is like a single body. What happens to the body when, when one part of it aches, it affects the entire body? And so when our brothers and sisters, regardless of where they are, whether they're in Morocco, they're in Libya, they're in Afghanistan, they're in Bangladesh, uh, you know, they're in Turkey, whatever, whatever they're suffering from, that we need to feel for them. Just like how we ask you to feel for your brothers and sisters in Palestine, who are being bombarded day after day, who are being treated like animals, you know, in this country that we live in, animals have rights. If you were to do something wrong to an animal and someone sees you and reports you, you're in big trouble. And here we have people on the other side saying that these people, that Palestinians, they're animals. We know too well that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that in terms of even the animals, he looked for their well-being. And he said, a, a, man, a person will enter paradise, will be granted paradise because that person went into a well and brought water to quench the thirst of a dog. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a woman, he, she would go, to, she is destined for the hellfire because she prevented the cat from eating from the rodents. And, and we have people today who are preventing our brothers and sisters from the basic necessities of life. My, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we are living in a very unjust, corrupt world. And sometimes we, we tend to wonder where is the help? When will help come? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he tells us, we are told, Nasrullah Qareeb, the help of Allah is near. And, and we should never forget that. Allah's help will come when Allah wants His help to come. But Allah reminds us in the Quran that those who are dhalim, those, those who are oppressors, and those who treat people unjustly on this earth, at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sometimes He delays their punishment. He says in the Quran, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهِ غَافِلًا and never think that Allah is unaware of what the wrongdoers do. 
he only delays them for a day when eyes will stare in horror. And so those who are committing crimes, those who are oppressors, those who treat people unjustly, those who have no compassion within them, don't think that Allah is unaware of them. Allah reminds us that he delays them for a time. And that is why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, اِتَّقُوا الظُّلْمَ فَإِنَّ الظُّلْمَ ظُلُمَاتٌ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةٌ Beware of committing oppression, for oppression will be darkness on the day of resurrection. That's what Allah is reminding us, that those who are oppressors, those who are wrongdoers, they will be faced on the, uh, on the day when uh, they will be, you know, they, they will be surrounded by darkness. When we return to our Lord, we want to return with faces that are beaming, shining. Those who oppress people, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying that that oppression will be darkness for them on the day of resurrection. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah always reminds us that He loves people who are just, people who are kind, people who are compassionate. And regardless of what we see around us, Muslims always need to maintain that justice. Muslims always need to maintain that kindness, that compassion, that love. Because when we show that to other people, it, instead of harboring ill feelings for us, they, they will come on our side. And if we look in the world today, we see people who do not share the same faith and share the same values as the, some of the values of the Palestinians that millions in the world are protesting on their behalf. Because they see a, a, a God-fearing people, a people who have been oppressed, a people who have no freedom, people who everything was taken away from them and, and so they stand with such people and that is why as Muslims we don't spread hate we spread love and we spread compassion and kindness because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tells us in the Quran inna Allah yuhibbul muqsitin Allah loves those who are just Allah loves those who are compassionate. Allah loves those who are kind. Allah loves those who are caring and concerned. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in Hadith al-Qudsi, Allah is speaking, and Allah says, Ya ibadi, Inni haramtu al-dhulma ala nafsi wa ja'altuhu baynakum muharrama fala tadhalamu. O my servants, I have made oppression forbidden unto myself and I have made oppression 
forbidden amongst you. So do not oppress one another. Hadith al-Qudsi, Allah is saying oppression, Allah doesn't like it. He made it haram unto himself. And he made it haram among us, among people. So do not oppress one another. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, it, it is sad that where prophets tread, where prophets walked, holy lands, we see so much crime being committed in these holy places. Allah reminds us in the Quran, Subhana ladhi asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al harami ila al masjid al aqsa. Alladhi barakna hawlahu. Glory be to Allah who did take his servant for a journey by night from Masjid al Haram in Mecca to Masjid al Aqsa in Jerusalem. And, and, and look at what, whose precincts we did blessed. Blessed lands in so much crimes are being committed in those blessed lands day after day. You know, we, we may not realize it, but the world of Muslims need to be thankful to our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that, or he encouraged, that if you were to visit Masajid, there are three mas Masjid. Masjid al-Haram in Mecca, Masjid al-Nabawi in Medina, and Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem, the, the, the place of the first Qibla. And who protects it? Yes, Allah protects it, but it is the Palestinians who are there to defend against anything that the conspirators or the evil ones want to do with regards to Masjid al-Aqsa. And so many of us, we had the opportunity to visit that place. If it wasn't for, them, for their persistence, if it was, wasn't for them wanting always to make sure that it's a place where Muslims will continue to worship, we don't know what would have happened. And, and so we, th we say thanks to them for giving us that opportunity to be able to pray in one of the places that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he encouraged Muslims to pray. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, never forget your brothers and sisters who are suffering in other parts of the world. Keep making dua for them. Allah says in the Quran, Ud'uni astajib lakum, call upon me and I will answer your prayers. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help our brothers and sisters in Palestine. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen them. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to protect them. Keep them safe. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that those who have passed, that Allah grant them Jannatul Firdaus. Those who have been wounded, those who are sick, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cure them. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all those who are suffering in different parts of the world. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين المؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفرون إنه هو الغفور الرحيم
Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in Ridwanullahi alayhi mila yawmiddin Amma ba'd Again my dear brothers and my dear sisters The, the, the oppressed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he, he said about the oppressed وَاتَّقِي دَعْوَةَ الْمَذْلُونَ فَإِنَّهُ لَيْسَ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَ اللَّهِ حِجَابَ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Beware of the supplication of the oppressed For there is no veil between it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we, as much as we are so far away from them, we have been victims of oppression also. In the sense that if you want to speak out about the evils of this world, you are being targeted. If you want to speak up for your rights, just because you are a Muslim, you are being targeted. And, and everyone else can speak up for their freedom, fight for their freedom, but when Muslims do that, they're terrorists. Other people, they are looking for their rights. They're striving to get their rights. So, so in a sense, our, you know, our thinking, our intellect, however we, we try to frame things, it's, we suffer from that oppression. Because just as how our brothers and sisters are being oppressed in different parts of the world, we also are being oppressed in different ways. And so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says to the world, beware of the, the dua or the supplication of the oppressed one. For there is no veil between it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So continue to make dua, continue to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and have mercy upon us. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And that he saves us from the torment of the hellfire. لَقَدْ أَمَرْنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ مَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأربع أبي بكر وأمر وثمان وعليم ونستة الباقين المباشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بإسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين Allahu mansur ibadaka al mustadafina fi Palestine. Allahu mansur. Allahu mansur ibadaka al mustadafina fi Gaza. Allahu mansur. Allahu majal. لنا الناس اللهم رب الناس أذب الباس اشفي أنت الشافي لا شفاء إلا شفاءك اللهم ارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين خصوصا عبادك في فلسطين اللهم ارحمهم اللهم اجعل لهم مكانا في الجنة اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم 
وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي لكم لكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله على نعمه واشكروه على آلائه ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أكم الصلاة Thank <laughs> you.